Hey you guys, uh, recently I left Shanghai to make a last minute visit to my home country, New Zealand. After our Prime Minister announced everyone returning there from overseas, we'll need to quarantine for 14 days. I knew from that announcement that things would only get worse in terms of flights between Asia and New Zealand. So I made the decision to fly home ASAP and check out their new measures. Because direct flights between China and New Zealand were stopped weeks ago, and because most countries and regions I could transit through wouldn't allow me to enter because of having been in mainland China, I was forced to transit through Japan's Narita Airport in Tokyo. They didn't care that I'd just come from China and I was allowed into my home country. I kept my mask on and flew south to a small town called Blenheim, where I would stay in isolation in my dad's house. But very soon I heard that Shanghai was planning to enforce strict new rules on those returning home. More and more countries around the world were panicking and closing their borders. I feared being stuck in New Zealand, so I changed my flight back and left again the next day. I only spent one night in New Zealand with my dad, but I'm happy to say he was protected the whole time, and it was good to see him all the same. I left him 50 masks and several bottles of hand sanitizer, which were all sold out in New Zealand, and then got back on an Air New Zealand flight to Tokyo. In New Zealand, people are still not wearing masks or other protection in public, including the crew on my 11-hour flight. Soon those crew members will head back to New Zealand, where they're not required to enter quarantine at all. I got on my flight to Shanghai with Spring Airlines in Tokyo and it was a completely different picture. The crew wore full protection and every single person on the flight had at least a mask on. When I arrived in Shanghai, I experienced the measures being taken to stem the flow of COVID-19 back into China. Oh, I know. Yes. Ah, so I was asked. I was asked multiple questions, had my temperature taken several times, and was soon allowed to find my way to a counter for the district I live in. From there, they took about 12 of us, Chinese and foreigners, to a testing facility in our district. We slept in the bus outside the clinic for eight hours, waiting for our turn. Once we finally got inside, the sun was already high in the sky. We were tested one by one for novel coronavirus, which is through a swab of the throat. From there, most of our group were sent to hotels, but myself and two others were made to stay behind and share a room in the clinic. We were told we needed to stay in the clinic for 8 to 12 hours as we waited for our test results. It became a long day cooped up in our room. All three of us in this room are uh, negative, just normal results, which is really good. I'm so excited. And so now we're organising um, going home. There's a bus on the way here to take us. Um, so we're still considered in quarantine here. We're still, even though we're negative, we're not allowed to freely leave. Then we need to get um, into the bus, which is still considered a quarantine zone. <laughs> In the bus. After that, we were finally taken home in that same quarantine bus, one by one, followed by police. I had such a long sleep when I got home, and the next morning I was greeted by four health officials who explained the rules to me and told me about my daily temperature checks and so on. They also put a magnetic device on my door which will alert them whenever I open it. I'm ready for my two week quarantine and was thoroughly impressed with Shanghai's strict and thorough measures that I've now experienced firsthand. It was a tiring and challenging 24 hours, but I've been left in awe at China's efforts to contain COVID-19 and thinking of those nurses and drivers and police officers and volunteers on the front line now has a new meaning for me. My home country, New Zealand, on the other hand, is woefully unprepared, and I suspect things there will very soon spiral out of control.